Listen to part of a talk given to first year university students. The place to go for parking permits is the Safety and Security Office on the first floor of the University Services Building. Parking permits are required for all on campus parking. Special permits are available for students who carpool. You can also get passes for the 4th Avenue Garage, bus passes, and maps there. The hours are 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Thursday and 8 to 4 on Fridays. Safety and security also provide special services 24 hours a day. These include escort service to and from your car, criminal incident reporting and investigation, lost and found, and battery jumper service. What is the talk mainly about? Question 2. Listen to part of a lecture in an American Studies class. Although the original American Indian cultures were highly diverse, they were similar in many of their traditions. Religious beliefs and rituals permeated every aspect of Indian life. Southwest tribes, such as the Hopi and the Apaches, had a rich and elaborate year round sequence of ceremonies, including songs, dances, and poetry. The Hopi performed dances to bring rain. The Apaches engaged in special dances and ceremonies to gain the support of the spirits before undertaking raids or going into war. The Plains tribes often sought contact with the spirits by going on a vision quest. What is the topic of the lecture? Question 3. Listen to part of a talk in a business class. Each kind of insurance protects its policyholder against possible financial loss. Life insurance pays your family a certain sum upon your death. The purpose of life insurance is to provide your family with financial security, an immediate estate that will allow them to maintain the household after you die. Health insurance protects you against large medical expenses. When you pay premiums to your insurance company, you can ensure payment of your medical bills. Another kind, property liability insurance, is sometimes called casualty insurance because it covers the cost of accidents, like automobile accidents, fire, and theft. If you're like most people, your home is the largest single investment you make in your life. This is why most homeowners have some type of property liability insurance. Which of the following best describes the organization of the talk? Question 4. Listen to part of a lecture in a geography class. The dunes called Spirit Sands make up the Manitoba Desert, Canada's only desert. These five kilometers of dunes were formed 10,000 years ago when an ancient river dumped billions of tons of sand and gravel at the edge of a glacial lake. The dunes of spirit sands are constantly changing. They are truly rolling dunes. Here's how it works the sand in each dune becomes progressively finer toward the top. The heavier particles tend to settle at the base on the windward side. The wind blows the finer particles up the slope, and eventually they kind of trickle down the other side. Thus, the dune sort of walks downwind. It will reverse direction when the wind changes. Each dune is covered with tiny rolling waves, and each wave itself is a tiny dune. What is the lecture mainly about? Question 5. Listen to part of a lecture in a biochemistry class. There have been several influential studies in pain management. Some of the most interesting of these study endorphins, the body's own natural painkillers. For example, we now know that exercise stimulates the production of endorphins. Lack of exercise, on the other hand, not only shuts down endorphin production, but can also lead to muscle deterioration. 
This is why you see a lot of pain specialists prescribing exercise for patients with chronic pain. Another interesting area involves the power of the placebo effect. We've known for some time that a sugar pill or other inactive placebo can sometimes make a sick person feel better. Somehow, the power of suggestion or faith in the doctor or the drug will start a process of healing. We now think a neurochemical component. What may actually happen is the placebo effect allows some people to sort of tap into the supply of endorphins in their own brains. What is the lecture mainly about?